Hey guys, Kevin here with Mix Coach. Today we're going to be talking about a new free de-esser that you can download absolutely free and I think it's a really good de-esser so stay tuned. Okay guys, if you've ever heard any of my tutorials, you've heard probably heard me say that de-essing is kind of the difference between the men and the boys. If you can uh, have a mix that just has perfectly balanced top end, uh, it's it's a really good sign that your mix is well balanced. If you have these S's that slip through, either from um, harsh EQ, could be a harsh singer, it could be uh, the way a person's mouth is formed and they just have sibilances that you can't get rid of, having de-essers in your arsenal is very, very advised, okay? I have several de-essers in my arsenal, and this week I have a new one. This is actually a free de-esser. If you look here, it's Techovation T de-esser. Now this one is absolutely free. There's three products. One is this T de-esser. There's a T de-esser plus, which the one I downloaded, this is one I got. And it's just like the T de-esser, but it has the audition, which is really cool. You can audition the, the difference, which is basically you're auditioning what you're de-essing, the, the, the harsh frequency. You know, we say, find the pain, reduce the gain. This is the easy way to find the pain. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this free version first, and then I'll show you a little bit of what the pro version. Now, until tomorrow, this is Black Friday week or Cyber Monday uh, as we speak. Uh, you can actually get this for like, what, half price? Uh, $49, so go and get it if you can. I may even put this video out a little early so you can grab this deal because it's a really good deal. Okay, so let's go to a place in a song that I've got. I've got the DSR Plus. Now, this is the free version. And so as you can tell, it's got low the low highs, which uh, it goes. It looks like it goes from 1K to, I'd have to see what it is. I think it's probably 3K. And then um, the mid highs is a little tighter of a bandwidth than that. Highs is the same bandwidth, but a little higher, like in the, uh, like probably between 3K and 8K maybe. And then high end is from there all the way to the top. So um, the ends of the spectrum, the low high and the high end are really wider bandwidths, basically. Medium high and high is what you're, where you're going to get most of your mileage from. Okay, so just going over this real quick. Um, what you have from the left is the output, which it's kind of odd that the output is on the left. Usually the output is on the right, but I mean, it's just a matter of getting used to it. This is where if you were cutting down quite a bit and you wanted to boost the gain a little bit so that your plug-in didn't sound like you were compressing something, you could make, do a little makeup gain here. So, and then this is the threshold. You just pull it down until you see uh, some frequency coming through. Now, when you, when you listen to the different, the audition, the difference, you won't hear anything unless you pull the threshold down to where you're actually in that range of um, sibilance that you want to DS, okay? The level here is the level coming from the tape or coming from the, the uh, signal source. And then at the top, you will see how much it's actually DSing. It'll turn red and come down. And I'll show you again in just a minute. Again, here's the low highs or the, yeah, the low high, which is kind of confusing verbiage, but you get it. If you look here, even on the free version, you can see where it's DSing. The low high and the high end, basically, they are, basically it's from 1K up to probably 8K. It's in the manual. Uh, but anyway, so the extreme frequencies will probably go in from medium high or mid high and high, which because of those are the more narrow bandwidths. Okay, uh, down here to the left you have intensity, which is this is the ratio of what you're de-essing, and I, I don't go super uh, high with the intensity. I don't go like limiting unless it's just a terrible, terrible problem because you'll give it, you'll give it away. Now there's things uh, that you can work around in the pro version. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So we're going to set this to about five to one. The sharpness you can look at as like the knee and the more, the further down you are, the more uh, severe and more apparent the lack of compression and then compression is going to appear. If you want it to be a little smoother, I would run this number up a little bit. On the pro version, you could probably just do the mix a little bit and smooth that out a little bit, but we're going to leave this back where it is. On the pro versions, you can get attack and release. We're not going to need those for right now. Also on the pro version, you can get the look ahead, which you can turn the look ahead on and it will basically 
pre-listen to your signals so that if there's an S that would normally get through past the you know the two mill 20 millisecond or two millisecond attack, it will actually you know it's a it's more processor intensive, but it's a little more accurate sometimes. Um, I don't know how your case will determine how if you need that or not. Okay, so on the plus version, also we'll go ahead and cover all the features. The mix you can mix between the un ds sound and the ds sound so you can actually go extreme and do kind of a parallel compression sort of thing and just mix it in until you get the right balance okay quality uh, this is oversampling i haven't done a lot of over oversampling but if you start to get some some graininess about it or you don't like the sound of it or you've got one of those sets of ears that where you can hear paint dry you might want to experiment with the quality this goes up to i think 16 times oversampling you can experiment with how that you know pleases your ear uh, and then of course the audition is available on the free version and this is where you can listen to the difference between the um Actually, the difference is the that's it. you're listening to the uh, side chain, basically, is what you're doing. And then the filter, uh, since you don't have access to the filter here, um, I don't know how much use this is going to be, but you, you can hear the filter of this here. Okay. Now, on the pro version, you can also adjust the range. So if these preset ranges are not to your liking, you can actually, you know, compress the full range if you want to from 1k to 20k if you f so desire and if you want that the pro version 49 dollars right now normally 90 dollars which is a great deal i think um if you're using a dsing for mastering uh, and you want to use the dsr there is a way to go to just left and right so you're you're DSing the left and right, or you can click it and it goes mid side. So you can actually DS the center stuff. Like for instance, if you had your vocals in the middle, if you're mastering something and you had your vocals in the middle and it was too S-y, you wouldn't affect the cymbals, which are on the outside usually, okay? You could just DS the center part of it, okay? Or if you found a, a guitar in the center that was kind of harsh and you, want, you wanted to compress the 3K to keep it from being so harsh, you could actually, uh, you could do that mid side. Um, there's a lot of ways you could do that. Um, also, here's a high cut. You can cut um, anything off from around 3K to up around 20. Um, again, if you want to smooth out a signal, that's um, that could be a way you could do that, okay? Now, saturation is the last thing I want to tell you before we actually start to listen to something, okay? Saturation, you can actually saturate the whole signal by turning up the saturation. You can hear it. It'll actually, if you're having trouble with sibilance, sometimes it comes off as not warm. Um, and what you can do is just saturate the signal just a little bit. I haven't used the saturation by itself, but we'll give it a try, okay? Also, you can click the filter on the Pro version. You can click the filter and you can only saturate what you're compressing. So if you're, um, you're, if you're DSing something, you can actually uh, warm that S up, that sibilance up a little bit, which could be just what the doctor ordered, okay? Okay, so we're listening to a song right now called Black Dog. It's on a Mix Coach member. If you're interested in becoming a Mix Coach member, you just go to mixcoachmember.com and we do songs like this every month. We all mix together. It's a really um, it's a really cool family of, uh, of mixers that really uh, build on each other's uh, knowledge and expertise, and we are all becoming better mixes as a result of being in this little mix coach member club so check it out mix coach mix coach member com. would love to have you okay so we're going to listen to uh the lead vocal with nothing on it um i have actually taken eq and i've over eq'd it just a little bit i've taken this eq i'm going to unbypass this and as you can see i've got a shelf up high and it's making the vocal a little harsh a little bit harsh um now i did that because it's a very well recorded vocal and it's kind of hard to find things wrong with it but um but we're going to kind of emphasize a little bit so you can hear the effects of this tds okay so here's just a little bit of the solo vocal truck sitting in the drive candy apple finish gleaming in the morning light Tr now the reason i picked this phrase is because it's got several uh s frequencies in it and if you think about this s is s is just one frequency band that you need to be aware of there's t tr, and ch those are all slightly different frequencies and i'm finding that this uh tds or does a really good job of compressing all of them 
So you so listen to the, how many how many DS's uh, how many different frequencies we have in this one phrase. Truck sitting in the drive, candy apple. Drive and candy, those are all. Truck sitting in my drive, candy. Uh, those are all frequencies that that need to be DS. Okay, so I'm going to pull up this DSer and let's just go to the uh, factory default here. By the way, uh, it has presets, some of which I've already saved for my further use. Um, you have these, which are available in the free version. And we're going to go to the um, default preset, and we're going to listen to this uh, phrase. Truck sitting in the drive, candy apple finish claiming. Now, I believe that you should kind of cross the line to find out where the line was so you can come back across the line a little bit. So we're going to pull it down a little bit so that it's probably DSing more than we want it to just to see how it really does sound. And then we'll ease it back it back to where it's more um, um, to our liking. Truck sitting in the drive, candy apple finish gleaming in the morning light. Truck sitting in the drive, candy apple. Now, I'm DSing quite a bit. And it sounds pretty natural. The name is um, is correct. Natural sounding DSer. Truck sitting in the drive. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the high end here. See if that's any better for us. Truck sitting in the drive. Candy apple finish gleaming in the morning light. Truck sitting in the drive. Candy apple finish gleaming in the morning light. Truck. Now the high end seems to be covering more of the of the gamut, even though the S, the actual S, is being compressed a little bit too much. Truck sitting in the drive. It's being compressed 14 dB. So I'm gonna I'm gonna back this up just a Truck, little bit. Truck sitting in the drive. So. So you can hear all the frequencies that we are DSing. So, uh, just right out of the box, free version TDS or plus is actually doing a really fine job. We're able to listen to what we're DSing. We're able to pick which range of frequencies we want to DS. And uh, so give me a second and I want to load in the pro version so you can see the differences. Okay, so we have the pro version loaded in. Same preset, same everything done. I just want you to see the differences between the free version, which is very good, and the pro version, which is could be a little bit more useful for you if you have certain needs, okay? So truck sitting in the drive can So, so we're we're here at the same end again. Now all we need to do instead of uh, picking these frequencies out, we can actually just expand this. And we can go down to 1k. Let's see what that sounds like. Truck sitting in the drive. A little much. So, I'm going to go back to the high end, but you can see that if you wanted to let's just say um, take the 3k out of a out of a kick beater, you could actually just go down here to this 3k around this area here, just drag it around like this until you find it. It would be great for that. Um, also, when you get the pro version, you can actually select the mix. You can so if we're if we're compressing too much, let's go back to this uh, high end thing here. Truck sitting in the drive, candy apple. So I'm gonna pull the mix back a little bit and see if it sounds more natural. Truck sitting in the drive, candy apple finish claiming in the morning light. Truck. Okay, so let's hear it like that and then bypass. Truck sitting in the drive, candy apple finish claiming in the morning light. Here's the, here's with the end. Truck sitting in the drive, candy apple finish claiming. It's definitely doing a great job there. So here's that mode, the uh, mid side mode. No use in us doing this here because it's a mono signal. But uh, let's experiment with a high cut here. Well, you can actually cut off some highs. Truck sitting in the drive, candy apple. Just take some of that um, high end now. Um, okay, so we're going to go back to uh, 100% on the mix. The high cut is turned off, and the saturation. We're going to just listen to the saturation here. Okay. Truck sitting in the drive, candy apple finish gleaming in the morning light. Truck. Okay, so we were listening to the whole signal being uh, saturated just a little bit. Uh, we're just going to turn it up to, let's just say, 64%, okay? Truck sitting in the drive. Now, the other option you can do is just turn the filter on, and you're only, um, you're only saturating what is actually being compressed. So that 
Uh, we'll just listen. Truck sitting in the drive, candy apple finish gleaming in the morning light. Truck. Okay, so you can actually take the high end that you are trying to contain and saturate it, which could smooth it out a little bit more. So this is a really, really versatile compressor. Now you don't get all the features with the free version, but you get enough features with the free version to kind of wet your whistle and put another very valuable tool in your toolbox when it comes to sibilant vocals, okay? There's a lot of things that we could probably do. I would recommend you try that the kick drum thing. Um, I've got a preset where I, uh, uh, a lot of times fiddles, and violins, strings, when I'm mixing strings, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll take 2K and pull it down a little bit. Well, you probably could just take this high frequency here and pull it down to 2K and you should be good. It'd be nice to be to be able to see this frequency range pop up when you do that, but you know, you should use your ears more than your eyes anyway. Uh, it'd be nice to see that. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the TDS or Pro and the TDS or the free version are great tools to add to your arsenal. So I hope you found this helpful. And um, if you found more ways to use this DS or let me know in the comment section below. Okay. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I love all of that stuff. And go and check out Mix Coach Member if you want to hear some songs like this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Okay. Thanks. Bye.